All right, let's be honest. Who hasn't heard of Apple? They're massive. But believe it or not, this tech behemoth started in a tiny garage. Yeah, you heard that right. A garage. Two Steves, Jobs and Wozniak, along with Ronald Wayne, had a vision. They wanted to make computers easy to use, accessible to everyone. Little did they know, they were about to spark a revolution. Fast forward a few decades, and Apple is a household name. They've given us iconic products from the Macintosh to the iPod, and of course the game changer, the iPhone. The iPhone wasn't just another phone, it was a whole new way to connect, communicate and consume information. It changed how we lived, worked and played. From the first generation to the latest model, the iPhone has constantly evolved, pushing the boundaries of technology and design. It's a testament to Apple's commitment to innovation and their ability to capture the imagination of millions worldwide. Our story begins in the heart of Silicon Valley, California, back in 1976. Picture a cramped garage, wires everywhere, the air thick with anticipation. This wasn't just any garage. It was the birthplace of Apple Computer Company Three Young Men, full of ambition and big dreams, toiled away, fueled by coffee and a shared passion for technology. Steve Jobs, the visionary, Steve Wozniak, the tech whiz, and Ronald Wayne, the voice of reason, pooled their talents and resources. They were on a mission to bring personal computing to the masses. Their first creation, the Apple One, was a far cry from the sleek devices we know today. It was essentially a circuit board, requiring users to build their own casing and connect their own keyboard. But it was a start, a sign of things to come. Jobs, ever the salesman, secured their first big order, and Apple was officially in business. It was a humble beginning, but it marked the start of an extraordinary journey. The Apple One may have been their first foray into the market, but it was the Apple II that catapulted Apple into the limelight. Released in 1977, the Apple II was a revelation. It was user-friendly, had a color display, and came with a built-in keyboard. This wasn't just a computer for hobbyists, it was a machine for everyone. Schools, businesses, and families embraced the Apple II, making it one of the first commercially successful personal computers. Apple was growing rapidly. They went public in 1980, and their stock soared. The Apple II's success gave them the resources and the confidence to push boundaries. They invested heavily in research and development, constantly looking for ways to innovate and improve. They weren't afraid to take risks, to challenge the status quo. This boldness would become a hallmark of Apple's philosophy. The 1980s were a time of both innovation and turmoil for Apple. They introduced groundbreaking products like the Macintosh, the first mass-market computer with a graphical user interface and a mouse. But internal conflicts and power struggles led to Jobs' departure from the company he co-founded. The following years were difficult. Apple faced stiff competition from Microsoft's Windows operating system. Sales declined, and the company teetered on the brink of bankruptcy. It seemed like the once mighty Apple had lost its way. Their products lacked the spark and innovation that had defined them. The company that had once been synonymous with creativity and cutting-edge technology seemed to have lost its magic touch. It was a dark time for Apple and its loyal fans. In a dramatic turn of events, Steve Jobs returned to Apple in 1997. The prodigal son had come home. His return breathed new life into the struggling company. Jobs, with his trademark charisma and unwavering belief in Apple's potential, rallied the troops. He streamlined their product line, focusing on simplicity and innovation. He understood that Apple's strength lay in its ability to create products that were not only functional, but also beautiful and intuitive. Under Jobs' leadership, Apple introduced a string of iconic products. The iMac, with its colorful, translucent design, revitalized the desktop computer market. The iPod revolutionized how we listen to music, making it portable and accessible like never before. These successes paved the way for their most revolutionary product yet, the iPhone. In 2007, Steve Jobs took to the stage at the Macworld conference and introduced the world to the iPhone. It wasn't just a phone, it was a revolutionary device that combined three products in one, a widescreen iPod, a revolutionary mobile phone, 
and a breakthrough internet communicator. The crowd went wild. The sleek design, the intuitive touchscreen interface, and the promise of a truly connected experience captured everyone's imagination. The iPhone was more than just a phone. It was a cultural phenomenon. It changed the way we communicated, consumed information, and interacted with the world around us. It spawned an entire industry of apps, accessories, and imitators. The iPhone wasn't just a product, it was a statement. It signaled Apple's return to dominance and set the stage for a new era of mobile computing. Since its debut, the iPhone has undergone a remarkable evolution. Each new iteration brought improvements in design, functionality, and performance. From the App Store's introduction in 2008, which opened a world of possibilities for developers and users, to the Siri Voice Assistant in 2011, which changed how we interact with our devices, Apple has consistently pushed the boundaries of what a smartphone can be. Faster processors, higher resolution displays, improved cameras, each new iPhone offered something more, something better. The introduction of Face ID in 2017, a facial recognition system that replaced the traditional fingerprint sensor, was a game-changer in terms of security and convenience. Apple's relentless pursuit of innovation has ensured that the iPhone remains at the forefront of smartphone technology. The iPhone's impact extends far beyond the realm of technology. It has fundamentally changed the way we live, work, and connect with one another. It has created new industries, spawned countless jobs, and transformed existing ones. From social media to mobile payments, the iPhone has played a pivotal role in shaping our digital lives. It has empowered us with information, connected us across continents, and made the world a smaller, more accessible place. However, the iPhone's impact isn't without its downsides. Concerns about privacy, screen addiction, and the environmental impact of electronic waste are important issues that need to be addressed. As we move forward, it's crucial to find a balance between the benefits of technology and its potential pitfalls. The iPhone has undoubtedly changed the world, and it's up to us to shape how it continues to do so.